welcome back to my channel thank you so much to my subscribers welcome newcomers i hope you like what you see and if so be part of this journey with us one big happy family thank you so much for all your beautiful comments your loving support always thank you from the bottom of my heart i'd like to mention if the video is too fast for you on any of them in the description box there's a link two minute video how to slow down the speed of the video and also to turn your closed caption on so the stitches i'm calling will be written down here you can pause read and take notes i don't write patterns i get asked that a lot for the most times i use 2.75 hooks depending upon the uh, thread i'm using 3 3.5 or the pattern that i want to create to go bigger or not and that's what you should do for people that have tight stitch use a size of hook bigger or two size bigger and for people that have a loose stitch you should go a little bit one or two size uh, smaller so a small one to tuck in loose ends and a pair of scissors i do have a private crochet uh, group that you're more than welcome to join as long as you have a profile also follow me on my uh, crochet page on facebook instagram and TikTok. If you're stuck on any projects, you could always message me through there. I'd like to mention that uh, a lot of you sometimes ask me about my threads. Uh, these are Portugal threads. I am in Europe. They're four ply, 100% cotton thread, and they sell. Uh, it's twelve dollars, making the exchange twelve dollars, a hundred grams, which are balls like this. Okay, it's about uh, 300 to 325 uh, yards, uh, minimum of order of six balls. Okay, so uh, we're going to get started. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. It's free of charge. You don't pay for that, and it helps us create tremendously. And if you watch the video, and if you're not a creator um, or don't crochet, because I know some of you don't but love to watch my videos, please do give a thumbs up on the video. It's extremely important. And if there is short commercials, just watch the little small commercials. I don't want you to be wasting your time in five ten minute commercial but it does help the channel again itself okay so let's get started everyone thank you so much and for the women that have been donating uh for the women in need of thread thank you from the bottom of my heart and for your tips also thank you so much and for the ones that are considering to do so to help the women in need of thread please consider so my paypal account is in the description box also if you want to give it through there if you want to give it through the little a thank you bag underneath the video you can the only difference is that youtube takes 30 percent of that money that you're donating okay let's get started everyone okay everyone so i've decided that i wanted to create an oval uh centerpiece table centerpiece runner if you want to call it um in the same style as i just finished doing the round show you here so you guys can the flower for some of you that follow me already know what i'm talking about this one that i just launched which is a design from uh, our dearest friend uh, vanessa marcones and one of her followers uh, I think it's Sabrina, her name. Not sure anyway. Uh, did the etching. So, but I am going to create an oval one. So, make it my own pattern, right? So, hopefully, I can do it. I'm going to try my best. I don't know how many flowers, by the way, for some of you that are just coming in and seeing this, and you're probably like, oh my God, where's the link to that? I will leave the, le uh, leave the link below in the description box and also to the flowers if you want to create these flowers. These are like uh, little granny squares for the people who are just coming in. And you can use any flower you like as long as you have eight loops in the back. That's how we created our granny square with eight loops. Any flower will do to attach into the pattern. Okay, so 100% cotton thread. Um, I'll be using, of course, the flowers in blue. With these are eight millimeter uh, beads. I'll be using the white, 
and definitely uh, will be having probably my edging like the other pattern in blue to finish it off. Hopefully I can get this right. Um, it's always a challenge when you're creating something without being on paper. And sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you have to cheat a bit on the stitching because, you know, it's, you know, you don't write these amounts on paper. I don't write these amounts on paper. So sometimes you have to skip or cut or cut down stitches or add. But everything is possible. So 2.75 hook, small one to tuck in loose ends, and a pair of scissors. Uh, if you're using Aunt Lydia number three, remembering your pattern will be bigger because my thread, it's a four ply similar to Aunt Lydia number three, but mine's a little bit thinner. So my patterns become a little bit smaller. If your stitch is too tight, go a hook or two higher than your normal size. If you're too loose, go a hook or two smaller than your normal size. So you're going to get the perfect stitch in there or else you're going to have it like a wave or it's going to pull too much and going to be bulky and it's a nightmare, right? So I want to do it similar with the um, centerpiece design, which by the way, I have done many, many placemats with this design here. Okay. So I'm going to try to create this into the oval one just to get it matching up a little bit. Some people like it to be over. And by the way, I know that some of you are going to request for that oval one. So I might as well get it prepared now. Okay. So we're going to get started. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video. It's extremely important. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. It's free. Um, with my flowers, I have the royal blue and I have the slime green here goes in, in Europe well in Europe in my country uh in Portugal it goes this brand especially goes by number and not name of color okay so this is a lime green color 22 four ply okay and we're going to get started thank you everyone okay everyone so I'm going to do the slip stitch knot and I'm going to do one, two, three, four. I'm going to see how long I want this runner to be. So you could always uh, fast forward. And I'll let you know how many chain stitch I am going to do. Okay, you guys. So I've done 72 chain stitch. Okay. I'm going to come on my fifth chain. So count, not the one on the hook, one, two, three, four, on my fifth chain, I'm going to do double crochets, and I'm going to do one per space. Make sure that you grab both loops, or it's going to curve, so what I'm talking about, both loops, you guys can see we have one, we have two, and we have three strings here. If you go through this last one here, you can see that you're grabbing these two loops together, this will make sure that your pattern stays straight line and not curve like a U shape, okay? So we're going to continue one double crochet per stitch until the end, and I'll let you know how many I have reached at the end. Okay, everyone, so I have 69. As you can see, it stays nice and flat straight. 69 double crochets okay so now on the same stitch we did the last one i'm going to do an increase of six more double crochets all in the same space so one two three Four, five, and six. So all in the same space, I should have a total of seven double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, going on to the next double crochet, so not the one that's in, uh, in the space here. We don't want to 
continue going in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So make sure you don't put it in there. Into the next double crochet, we're going to do double crochet. Now remembering what you do on one side, you must do on the other side. Make sure that you're not skipping any double crochet. Sometimes it's tricky and we can skip by mistake. But sometimes, you know, if it does happen, you could always add two at the end. Okay, you don't have to take it down. So one per double crochet. When we get to this corner here, which I'll meet you there anyway, we must do the increase also. Okay. Okay, everyone. So not counting the seven we did there, but the one right after, I have 67 double crochets. With this one would be will be not would will would be will be okay so I need to come in here so 68 with this last one now we're going to do again on the same space seven double crochets all together that means I'm having my increase of six one two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Because I've counted already from the one that we went at the 68th one. Now I'm going to come in close it on the third one here okay so now we have the same in increase seven on this side and seven on the other side okay so I'm coming over to the next double crochet with a single and I'm going to do two chain I'm coming into the next space, double crochet, into the next one, double crochet, one chain space, I'm skipping a space and going into the next one. We're going to proceed this way until the edge there. Three double crochet groups, skip a space into the next one, one chain space between these groups. One chain, skip a space into the next one. So this would be row two, row one, row two. Okay, we'll do this all the way until the edge. Okay, everyone, so I reached the end and it hit me exactly on the last one here. I have, just to make sure, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen groups. One chain space. I'm coming into the next, which is the first one inside of the seven double crochets. And we're going to do an increase of two double crochet in the same stitch. Next space two double crochet again. So this is my second increase. Next space, two double crochet again, my third increase. And on my fourth double crochet here, I'm doing one double crochet only. And then continuing to do the two double crochet increase on the next stitch. So one increase, my second increase, so two in the same stitch, and my third increase. Okay, so in the group of seven double crochet, your first double crochet, two together, your second double crochet, two together, your third, two together, your fourth, one double crochet alone, your fifth, sixth, and seventh, two double crochet together, and then one chain space coming in that first double crochet so you got to make sure that we're properly 
lined up so we can have the right amounts. And start creating your groups again. One chain. Skip a space into the next one. If you did it properly, you're supposed to end up in the right direction where we have the groups on the other side. Okay? So it just lines up perfectly. One chain. Skip a space into the next one. We're going to do this all the way to the end the same way. And remembering, we must do the same thing on this corner here by adding exactly what we just did here on this side. And I'm going to continue to complete my round and meet you at the end. So this is row two. Okay, so I've reached the end. And it matches just perfect, one chain. I'm coming into that first one that's inside of the seven, creating two together. That's my first increase on the second double crochet, two together again. The third double crochet, two together. And on the fourth, one alone, one double crochet alone. On the fifth, two together. On the sixth, two together. Okay, let me see if I have this right. I gotta make sure this is right. Two, three. Okay, so I have my one, two, Now, I can see that I have an extra one here already to start off. So what I'm going to do, instead of putting the two together, I'm just going to put one per space just to fill it in. And sometimes this is what happens when you have to adjust a bit. Okay, one chain space in between them. Okay, so we're pretty good now. I'm going to do one, two, actually no, I'm going to come in with a single because that's how I start off my double crochet. So I'm coming back in the same space with a single, two chain, and, and one chain per space. Coming into the next one, and I'm creating those groups of three double crochets. So this row, we're always going to alternate the rows. One row will have the groups of three, Next row will have only one double crochet there. Next row will build one double crochet on top and two inside. So we'll build the group. I'm sure that a lot of you that follow me um, have seen me create a lot of times uh, the beginning of a pattern this way. Okay. If your stitch is too tight, you can do a two chain. Okay, coming into the next one. And if I find that it's too tight, I can I will do one uh, two chain also. So far, so good. But if I see if it's starting to pull, I will add two chain instead of one. Okay, so we're doing the groups again of the two uh, three the groups of three double crochet one chain space. When I get to the end here on this last group, I'm doing I'll be doing the three double crochets here one chain and one double crochet only on this side and again on that side. So the four corners will have only one double crochet. I'll meet you at the end just to make sure you understood me. Okay, you guys, so we're reaching the last group. One chain. Coming on the last double crochet with one double crochet only. Exactly how we started here. So the four corners will be that way. One chain. I'm coming in the first double crochet with one double crochet. On my second one, I'm doing two together in the same stitch. Next one, one alone. So I'm going to have six increases in this corner. Next one, two together. Okay, so one double crochet alone, two together, one alone, two together. That's my second increase. Coming in again. 
one double crochet along where we have also the double crochet along from the second row it's going to be one double crochet right so I have my third increase here we have that one double crochet along I'm doing one along coming into the next one one alone again so basically you have two alone here on the center and two together on the next space so now we are at one two three four one double crochet next phase two together this is five oops one double crochet and on my last one here two together so that's my sixth increase okay so we start off with one double crochet along on the first double crochet on the second row second double crochet two together third double crochet one alone fourth double crochet two together fifth double crochet one alone sixth double crochet two together seventh double crochet one alone eighth double crochet one alone two together one alone two together one alone two together so we have six increases one two three four five and six and then we repeat the same thing on the other side one chain coming here doing one double crochet alone one chain coming inside of the space create your groups okay and I'll meet you at the end we must repeat the same count on the other edge okay okay you guys I've reached the end I've done my last double crochet on the last one of the group one chain coming in the first one one double crochet along next one two together next one one double crochet along next one two together so we'll have six increases on this side also next one one alone next one two together next one one alone so we have one two three and again on the one that's alone it's one alone next one one alone and on the second one here which is not hard to see because it's where you have that group two together so we have four increase one alone two together that's five increase one alone and on my last one two together that's my sixth increase one chain coming in there's my single and two chain on my second chain okay now like I said as far as this we're going to keep repeating the same thing so I'm going to come back in again single two chain that's my first double crochet and two inside of the space to create my group again so we're always going to have a line going up one chain create your groups that always going to stay the same for a few rows until we're ready to start with the edging okay so one chain space your three double crochet one chain your three double crochet remembering that what we're doing on this side we have to do on the other so you know that all four corners will have one double crochet on top of double crochet and two inside of the space to create that three group so we'll have it here also we'll have two inside of here and one on top of that double crochet on top of double crochet and two inside of here but anyway I'll meet you at the other edge okay everyone getting into the last one so I'm coming in doing two double crochets and one on top of the double crochet so 
one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four row. Okay, one chain. I'm going to skip the first one and I'm coming in where I have the groups. I'm going to do one double crochet on the second double crochet. I'm going to do an increase of two together. One chain space, skipping the first one, going into the second one, doing one double crochet, and on the second double crochet, where we did the increase, doing two together. One chain, skipping the first one, coming into the next one with one double crochet, on the next one, two together. One chain, we're always going to have um, an increase of six groups, okay? Skipping one into the next one. So on these ones here, we have two alone, okay? So I'm going to skip one and two, and I'm coming in the third one and doing one double crochet and two together. So I have one, two, three, four, one chain, skip the first one into the next one. This is my fifth increase. Oops. Fifth increase, one chain, skip a space into the next one. And this is my sixth increase. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, one chain coming in where we have the double crochet, doing double crochet over double crochet, two inside of the space to create that group because we're always going to have a line straight up, one chain, and you must do exactly the same thing on the other corner. Okay, so those two that are alone here, we skip them completely and come in the first one of the group with one double crochet and on the second one, two together. So you have your in, your six increases. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So I've done this corner also and I've skipped these two double crochets we have here. Okay. Another thing is if you find that it's too tight, your stitch on the corner and it starts like pulling or curving, then do a two chain on your corners only if you want to keep just with one chain on the sides. So one chain space, I'm coming on my second double crochet from the very first one I went up, single and two chain. Coming back in, so we're going to repeat again the groups. Now, of course, remember I told you at the beginning, one row is group, one row double crochet. One row is group, so now we know we have only a double crochet. So single two chain is my first double crochet. And one chain for me for space. But some of you might be doing a two chain space. So that means that you do your single, your two chain, and two more for space. So you'll have a total of single and four chain. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Remembering that all four corners now will have only one double crochet on the last double crochet on both sides. Because both sides have to be equally the same. Okay, so I'll meet you again at the other edge. Okay. Okay, everyone. So pretty much did all my little groups my one chain, my one alone. Here we're going to increase again. So it's just going to be a repeat now of the same thing on the sides. One row of group, one double crochet groups, double crochet. And here we're always going to increase two double crochets at the end. One chain. If you need to do a two chain, go ahead. People's tensions are different. Some can get away with one chain and some can't. So there is no rules about this, of adding chains or, or increasing, decreasing, right? You have to do what works for you. So one chain space between the groups, that's always the same thing. And one increase at the end. We'll be doing the same thing on the other side. 
I'm going to do this for the next few rows, always an increase at the end, and always the row of group, one double crochet, group, uh, one double crochet. You can uh, fast forward. You should always watch the video before you create anything anyway. Uh, always look ahead before you do the next row, just to make sure that there is no mistakes or changes, because that's commonly to happen. We're human. And I don't know how many rows it's going to take, but I need to do a few to get that motive that I want to out of this one here. So I think I have 13, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. So I have 13. That means I am going to most probably do the same thing here. Um, I'll see how big this is going to go. So far we have four. I believe I'm going to go until I have 13. Okay, so you can fast forward and see how many rows I've done. It's just a repeat now. Okay, everyone. So I've done 12 rows all together, starting from the first row. And I've completed with a group. Okay, we're going to do this 13th row, only double crochets everywhere we have a chain we're doing one double crochet we are still going to add two together at the end um, so we're going to add the two together on the last one still and one per stitch one per double crochet and one inside of the one chain space so single to chain. It's just double crochets all the way around. One inside of the chain space. And then again, one per double crochet. Okay, so I'll meet you at the edge. Okay, so I've reached where the motive is. I'm still doing my increase in one inside of the, the one chain space. Okay, so continue on the same way, one per stitch, and doing your increase, two together on the last one. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I've done all of my double crochets. If I'm not mistaken by my count, I think I have 284. Uh, I know I have to be with even numbers in order to keep adding the uh, flower squares in. But if I'm missing, I'll just cheat, no issues, and we're good to go. So I'm gonna cut my thread because we have to start with the uh, flowers. So I'm gonna tuck in my little thread back here. Now this might have to go to a second video because it takes a lot of memory. There's a lot of details. If some of you recall on the other pattern, it was a lot of little details at the edge. So, and I have to explain it carefully or you're going to get all lost, right? So I'd rather put it onto two videos than rushing things and then you're going to be stuck and not understand. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is start the row on your granny square here. So I'm going to do only three double crochets. So single, two chain, that's my first, my second, and my third double crochet. We'll complete it once we come around the pattern, okay? one chain. I'm coming into the next one and doing three double crochet. One chain. Again, three double crochet. One chain. Three double crochet. We're at the corner. So I started with one corner, but we'll only complete when we come around. Okay, everyone. So 
I'm on this side of the pattern and I'm going to start right on the last or the first double crochet here, I should say, okay, where the motive is. I'm going to start adding here. On the round, we're going to skip only by twos, okay? On the edges, I think we have to skip by three because it's it's um, not round, right? So where we have that first double crochet here, I've done my one chain on my corner. I'm coming in and doing a single, okay? I'm going to come back in and complete my three double crochets for that corner. Okay, I'm going to skip. As you can see here, we hooked on here. So I'm going to skip one, two space coming into the third. This will be on the edges only, okay? We're going to skip two and do a single coming back in, creating my three double crochets. Okay, again, skipping one, two, coming in my third, and into the front. We're not doing chain stitch because the single is already enough for one chain stitch space, okay? Again, one, two, on my third one, and then coming into the corner, okay? So, doing... three double crochet, one chain only, and skip one, two, coming into the third one. Now, this first granny, we, um, we pretty much uh, attach it to the pattern one time only, but the next one we attach it here to the granny and into the pattern. So it will always be attached twice. Only the first one is attached once, okay? One chain space. So I completed my, my last uh, three double crochet for the corner. I'm doing three double crochet here and one chain space between them, okay? One chain coming in, three double crochet. We're going to keep adding as we're going without cutting any thread and doing one at a time would take forever. So we're doing it this way. One chain. The top we do not do now. Only when we have all of the granny squares in, then we come around the last row and complete the top. So you would take another granny square. So on this corner, we only do three double crochet. You're going to turn it to the back. Actually, you're going to do one chain, turn it to the back, and come into the corner of the next granny square and do three double crochet only. This belongs to the top part, okay? So we're not doing that yet. Back to back with granny square, coming directly, no chain space, and doing single. Your single is a chain space coming into the front uh, square, granny square, and doing your three double crochet. Going into the back and attaching onto the next, to the other granny square. Coming into the front, doing the three double crochets. Into the back, and coming into the corner. Now here in the corner, you have to pay attention. We're doing three double crochets here. Okay. We're going to do a single on the middle of the corner here. So still back to back. We have the two chain here in the center. We're doing one single here and also a single where we've attached the first granny square on the same space, okay? Single, so that's your two chain already. Coming back in, doing, uh, completing that corner with the three double crochet. And now we're always gonna add two sides of the granny square. So we've completed the second corner. Coming back in again, we're gonna skip one, two, into the third one, single. 
come back in and do your three double crochet again skip one two space come into the third one and complete your three double crochet skip again one two space come into the third one and come into the corner now remembering that the corners we don't complete we only do three double crochet and ready to attach onto the next granny so we did the three one chain grab the next granny and do three double crochets on the next one and this is how we're going to attach the edges by skipping two space back oops no we still have to complete here sorry yes i'm getting ahead of my game ain't i sorry about that okay so we have to one chain my goodness one two on the third one single so one chain and the single makes your two chains for the corners right so now we do the three double crochet to complete that third corner one chain and complete the side here one two and three one chain space and again one two and three one chain and here the fourth corner we don't do the grant the um the shell here okay one chain now we're ready to attach i guess maggie's in a rush isn't she okay so we're going into the corner of the other granny square we've done one chain and do your three double crochets okay so remember the first corner we don't complete and the last one we don't complete so i'm coming in let's not get it mistaken coming in the first space single and repeat the same thing we're going to attach on this side like an l shape and on the other side to the pattern your three double crochets your single come into the front do your three double crochets into the granny square and again here we are on the second corner doing that shell so three double crochet remembering we're doing uh, no chain we're coming directly in that other double crochet uh, other square and doing where we have the shell here on that one right and then attaching into where we had attached that granny square on the same space so you have two singles on there right coming back in and doing your three double crochets so we'll be attaching to the granny square and also to the pattern one two and again on your third space and continue to do the three double crochet one two single come to the front one two and three and again skip one two into the third one yes the dogs are seeing some cats so three double crochet we're going to do the attachment so 
one chain, skip one, two into the third one, and single. And then come and complete your third corner. one chain and complete the side here with three double crochet and one chain space this pretty much you're preparing this side for the attachment of the next um granny square right that's why we're doing that one one chain space so we can a little red linen from my other thread um one chain space so we can attach the other granny square one chain and this is the fourth corner, which we do not complete. We do three double crochet, one chain, and ready to attach again the next square by doing the three double crochet back to back with the square into the first space with single and you continue on we don't do any chain space here because we're doing single that's replacing the chain space right into the next one anyway and it goes on so this is what the corner is going to look like it's not it's going to be perfect it's not going to pull because it's rounded right but on the edge, we might have to skip three space because it's edging and edging. Um, if we skip only two, it's going to crumple up too much. Okay, so I'm going to go with the flow. And uh, as soon as I get here, as soon as I finish on the other side to get here, I think it's going to take two more flowers. Okay, and then I meet you there. And then we'll see from here how many space we're gonna we're gonna skip definitely I'm sure it's not gonna be two it's probably gonna have to be three okay so if you need to slow down the video in the description box it tell there's a link I show you how to slow it down turn your post caption on um, pause take notes uh, or rewind and take your time with it it's very simple but you have to be focused okay Okay, you guys, I'm going to get ready to add on my seventh flower at the edge. Now, when I look here, I still have a little bit left of that edge to complete. So my first um, skip, I'm going to do the normal, like we've been doing one, two, and come into the third. And then one, two, into the third. And then I'm going to skip three just to get myself organized here so it doesn't start pulling too much on the pattern. Okay, so. I'm gonna do my one chain. Create my other granny. Add my other flower, I should say. Okay, so I'll meet you as soon as I finished adding this one on, on here. So my seventh granny that I'm adding on, so I'm still adding the same way. Coming in my back shell here on the flower that I'm just attaching to with a single and a single where I've attached that square. Coming in doing my three double crochet oh wrong I have to complete that square don't I well the corner I should say mm -hmm. okay the two thing I get carried away when I'm when I'm talking I lose myself in between the good thing I catch myself right away okay so now we're going to skip one, two. Okay, come back in because we're almost ending the edge there and I don't want it to pull laughter on the uh, straight part of the pattern. And again, one, two. So 
So as you can see, we've pretty much finished the edging here at the corner, right? So now I'm going to skip this time three, okay? So one, two, three, coming in my fourth. See how that looks? And again, skip one, two, three, coming in my fourth. That's because we're on the flat side already, you know, so we catch a bit of the corner. Um, I'm supposed to do that one chain. Did I do that one chain? No. Okay, so on your third corner, you have to do that one chain. And again, skip one, two, three, come into your fourth. Come back in, complete your side. So one chain space as we've been doing. The only difference was skipping uh, those three here at the end of this uh, seven flower. I'll show you in a second once I complete these three. So we're going to keep adding them on. So just to give you an idea. So it doesn't start crumpling up. Okay. So now we're going to keep skipping my three going to the fourth until we eventually get here. Okay. See how it's going to work it. If we need to cheat, then we'll cheat. No issues. Exactly how we just did on this one here. Okay? But I'll meet you here once I'm getting almost at the end here to start the, the, the corner. Okay? The curve. Okay, everyone. So, we have done our seven squares on the corner. And now I've added four more on the side. I'm on my fourth one on the side and I'm right at the corner again, okay, getting into the uh, round corner. So on my fourth one, on my last um, shell here at the corner, the corner of the square, I'm only going to skip two and not three, okay? So once we add the fourth, the last corner or I should say the third corner on the square, I'm going to skip only two. One, two, coming in the third. Okay. Coming back in and proceed again. Now, because we are at the edge, uh, round corner, we're going to start skipping only two again until we get to this side here. Okay. So I'm going to keep skipping two going into the third. And then I'll meet you once I have arrived here to see if we need to make an adjustment. Okay, like we did with the other one. But pretty much we're already doing an adjustment here because we're not skipping uh, three. We're skipping only two going into the third. It's only at this corner on your fourth flower because the seventh one is still from that corner we did. Remember, it fell a little bit over. So we had skipped two and then we started skipping three, okay? So we kept skipping three, went into the fourth, and on the fourth flower, just the corner one, I skipped only two and went into the third, okay? Okay, everyone, so I've done my seven on this corner too. If you recall, we started with seven on the first corner, and then we did four that we skipped the three went into the four and then we did and now I'm doing seven I'm on my seventh one and I finish exactly this is the sixth and this is my seventh so I'm starting my seven and my sixth I finished exactly where the motive ends right so now I'm going to skip three on my seventh 
flower, I'm going to start skipping three all the way until we hit the other flower at the end. So one, two, three, going into my fourth. So simple, continue to do your normal square. And again, skipping one, two, three into my fourth. Okay, so we're going to do that all the way until we meet the first flower. One, two, three on my fourth. One chain, one, two, three on my fourth. Completing my third corner, one chain, and then continue on. So now, because we are on the side again, we are on the side of the pattern. We're skipping three, going into the fourth until we connect the very first uh, flower together. Okay, so I'll meet you there. Okay, everyone. So I almost have, well, I have one left that I need to add on here. Now, if I skip only three and go into the fourth, I'm going to have extra. And I don't want to have extra because I need to connect here on the corner. So just before I close in, the before last flower instead of skipping the four i'm going to skip five okay so one chain so instead of skipping four i'm skipping five space or i should say skip four going to your fifth one two three four into my fifth okay so skip four and going to your fifth or else we we won't arrive properly at the edge Okay, so continue on again doing your your side here and then we're going to attach the last square and on the last square we'll be skipping four going into the fifth in order for us to get it in properly. And like I said, you know, these things are just, you know, you, sometimes they end up perfect and sometimes they don't. I don't do counts. So I go with the flow and no issues, no biggie. It doesn't change anything on the pattern at all. Everything comes together just the same. So one chain and continue to do your last square. Okay, so I'll meet you right at the edge there. Okay, so ready to do my second corner here. I'm going to skip four, go into my fifth. One, two, three, four, into my fifth. And doing this all the way to the end of this side here so we can arrive properly at the other flower. One, two, three, four, into my fifth. So, skipping one, two, three, four, into my fifth. Once we have it blocked, everything comes together, so don't stress over it. I'm going to come directly, so I'm going to do one chain. I'm coming directly inside of that middle. 
I'm going to continue the middle, of course, of the other uh, square. I'm going to continue to do my corner. Coming behind, single into, so we're connecting the squares now, the last one, okay? Now, of course, we didn't complete here, so we're not connecting that three double crochet, right? Because that's part of the corner here. We'll only do it when we come around to it. So two chain and complete your corner here. We'll complete this one when we get to it once we go around this row. So we're gonna complete this corner of the square, one chain, and then we're just gonna complete all of the squares here like that to complete the square, right? One chain. Coming into the second corner, we're going to close this corner up of the square. So three, double crochet, I'm going to come, I'm going to do one chain actually, and I'm going to come right on the connecting and then with a single and then going directly into the next square already. So we're closing up the corners, okay? So I did one chain, I've closed with a single here and went completely in. So let me just show you what it looks like. The connecting. So just bring it up a little bit more. because I know it's hard for you guys to see. So it doesn't change anything. And once we block the pattern, okay, with a little bit of water spray, or I use laundry softener in the little bottle, um, and spray it and then just stretch it and everything comes full together. So we're going to do that exactly what we just did all the way around the same way. And then I'll meet you at the end. And as you can see here, this really doesn't change anything on the pattern once it's blocked and stayed uh, completely together. Okay. So I believe I have 21 flowers if I'm not mistaken but everything will be in the description box right from the beginning you can check out in the description box how many flowers because you will need to create them before you uh, start the pattern so you can just keep going and add them on right okay so basically we're completing the corners and we're just going to continue one chain three double crochet one chain three double crochet Three double crochet, one chain. We're going to attach it right here with a single and go directly inside of the other space and complete that corner. 